John. What are you thinking about for a lesson today? Hi, Faith. I was thinking about verbs, but then I realized there was a much more exciting subject. The word but. It's a small, common word. But it adds excitement and contrast to sentences. We often use but to connect two clauses, or groups of words, that have a subject and a predicate. Consider these lines from The Diamond as Big as the Ritz by F. Scott Fitzgerald. John strained his eyes to see whether there might be men coming down the mountain, but the mountain was bare of human life. The first clause starts with John strained his eyes, and the second clause starts with but the mountain. The first part of the sentence suggests an effort, straining of the eyes. The second part of the sentence suggests that the effort was to no use. John did not see anyone. Pay careful attention to how speakers and writers use the word but. Remember, it's a small, common word. But an important one. Let's end with a quiz. Join these two clauses. I hoped it would be sunny today. It was rainy. Pause the video to consider your answer. Here is one possible answer. I hoped it would be sunny today, but it was rainy. And that's Everyday Grammar TV.